Hello there friends, it's Emma here, the bookish princess, or should I start today's video with a Groot C? A while ago on my Instagram, I posted a picture of some packing I was doing for a very exciting upcoming trip. You guys know I love to travel, and a lot of the travel I do is around the United States, but whenever I get the chance to go abroad, it's even more exciting, so this was a trip to Europe. You guys guessed Switzerland, Austria, and Germany in the comments, and you were all correct. My family took a trip mainly to Switzerland this summer, but we did also go to Salzburg and Munich. It was an incredible time. I did think about posting some updates while we were actually there, but travel, even when you're going somewhere familiar, there are always details you're trying to remember, and you know, it's your vacation, so you're trying to soak in all the fun and soak in all the memories. I tend to look on my social media as a scrapbook, so it's really fun. Later on, after all of the excitement and action of the trip is over, I'll edit the videos, I'll get to relive all the fun of the trip, and of course, bring you guys along. So I thought we would start the vlogs off with what I find one of the most exciting things before a trip, and that's the packing. I did film some video clips as I was getting my wardrobe together. I love planning what I'm gonna wear. And then I thought we'd end it with like a short highlight reel to show you guys what's coming up. I'm going to try to kind of slot the Switzerland vlogs into my YouTube uh, publishing schedule. I might try to do one every other week. I'd still like to have, you know, my usual smattering of Disney and books and other things. So without further ado, let's get ready for Switzerland. pretty well with my packing so far. I've already got quite a few things in my case here. This is all I'm bringing, just the roller bag and the polka dotted cath kids in there. This is Swiss gear, which is very appropriate. I found it just at Target though. Doesn't it look chocolatey on the outside? It's the rose gold version. No, no, it's called blush, which it has a little bit of a pink tone to it but I mainly like it because it looks chocolatey. <laughs> I really like that they um, zip on this side because I hate it when you have a suitcase like this and like it's just totally open or all it has, they do have, um, you know, uh, they do have these straps, but even that I feel like isn't enough because what if you have loose stuff? So it's nice that you can put the loose stuff inside the zippered compartment. Not everything is in the case yet. I have a couple skirts out here. So this one I found on Mod Cloth. I did wear it um, to Disney World. I wore it at the Grand Floridian in the Magic Kingdom and it was super cute. But when I bought it, my first thought was Switzerland. I think it's gonna be so, so, so pretty. And then this musical notes dress I thought would be really cute for Salzburg. I actually got this a couple years ago. It is Maison Jules, so I found it at Target, but it's so, so pretty. I always want to like sit down at a piano and try to play whatever tune this is. And then this I found at Brooks Brothers. Actually, this blouse right here is also from Brooks Brothers. They're so pretty and so crisp, and especially... And especially this one with the red flowers. Made me think of Switzerland as soon as I saw it, so I'm really excited for these two. I actually had a hard time deciding what skirt to wear with this. Initially, I was hoping that a white skirt I already own would work, but I couldn't find one. And then I went on Amazon, and I found this beautiful red skirt. It has pockets in it. It has a pretty high waist, so I think this looks so cute together. While I was looking for this red skirt though, this skirt popped up on Amazon. Just look at it. Could it be any more perfect for a Switzerland vacation? This um, blouse almost matches it. It's just, I think it's a little too busy. They're each so stunning on their own that to wear them together, you wouldn't know which to look at. There would just be too much going on. So I'm just gonna wear this with um, this white blouse. So repeating elements, I can wear the white blouse with the checked skirt and also the mountainy skirt. Oh my gosh, isn't this beautiful? This would also be super fun for Christmas, but I feel like with like the green of the mountains and also the pops of red, it also is perfect just generally for Switzerland. So I'm pretty excited. So obviously, obviously I'm trying not to pack too much because I'm sure I will be buying some souvenirs over there and who knows if there are any uh, clothes I might find, but it is kind of fun to buy some new things to kind of premiere on a big trip. This Cat Kids Tim bag is brand new. I ordered it online, I got it on sale, and it shipped from England so fast. I did a Cat Kids Tim order earlier in the spring too, and both times I got free shipping to the US and it came like within a matter of days. It was really amazing. Red 
is definitely a theme for this trip because of course it's the color of the Swiss flag. My Snow White bag I think will be what I use as just kind of my day bag because it's such a nice size. It's got plenty of room for my camera and like a lens which usually my camera is just over my shoulder but if it's raining or if for some reason I want to put the camera away um, it's nice to be able to um, but and yet it still is very compact. I've been meaning to put a little Swiss patch on my brand new jacket, guys. I found this on Zappos. It was on sale. I'd have my eye on it for a while because this brand is called Fall Raven or something like that. Here, do I still have the tag somewhere? There it is. So if you are a Duchess of Cambridge fan and you follow uh, from Berkshire to Buckingham is my favorite um, Kate Middleton fashion site, but the Duchess of Cambridge actually wore this to uh, an event probably a year ago. She had an olive green version, um, which the olive green was sold out on Zappos. And this was actually the last one in plum that I managed to snag in my size. It's a really nice kind of red. It's, it's like a little bit pinky, but also just a really rich, beautiful red. It just looks so cute on. It has really great tailoring and it's got really nice little details. It does have pockets on the inside. It's always great to get a jacket with pockets on the inside in Europe because of course you're worried about pickpockets so it's nice to be able you know if you want to tuck things inside your jacket although these pockets also zip so that's pretty great here are my shoe choices of course we have my trusty white crocs these i'm not sure they sell them in white anymore these are called eve slingbacks and i love them so much this is actually a brand new pair because the last time i bought them i bought two pairs because um after you wear them for a while like you know a year or so the treads do get worn down and then it's not as safe to wear because it's a little bit um slippery but now i wish i'd bought more than two because they now come in a color called barely pink which isn't quite white it is it is what it says it is a little bit pink <laughs> But I'm glad I have a new crisp pair for this trip. These are brand new Birkenstocks. This is pearl, I think the color of it was. I ordered, I got these from Zappos as well. My old pair of Birkenstocks, the uh, text on the bottom is completely worn down because I've worn them so much. So it's exciting to break in a brand new pair in Switzerland. I think these will be really cute and they'll match pretty much everything. Also, they're super comfy. Crocs, I also find Crocs are super comfy and my feet almost never have a problem, you know, even walking around all day. It has plenty of arch support and stuff. These, sadly, I got these on Mod Cloth. They're Keds. They're so cute and I have so much red that I thought, you know, red shoes would be super fun. But I have to admit, they do not have quite as much arch support. And um, having worn them at Disney, my feet did get tired by the end of the day. So I'll probably wear these once or twice, but maybe on a day when there's not quite as much walking. See, this is supposed to be a pack light kind of trip. So three pairs of shoes is really already pushing it, but I am kind of tempted to bring these Rifle Paper Company Keds. These actually do have a lot more arch support. Maybe it's because they have a thicker sole. These have a very thin sole. Um, so these are very comfortable walking around, but they only match a couple of the things that I'm bringing and they are kind of big and bulky. So we'll have to see at the very end if there's room for them in my bag, but I think I might leave them behind. I mean, what if I find a new pair of shoes in Switzerland? One thing I totally want to buy is a red watch because I feel like that would go so perfectly with all of my things. And of course it's Switzerland, so a watch would be the perfect thing to buy. So here's a quick run through of the makeup I'm planning to bring. I did do a what's in my travel makeup bag video um, a couple years ago and I feel like things haven't changed too much. For example, this one, is it gonna focus? <laughs> there we go, this infallible pro glow, oh, come on. You can do it. This is still my favorite um, foundation. It's the Infallible Pro Glow by L'Oreal Paris. It's just nice and light and yet still gives you enough coverage. Doesn't feel, um, you know, super heavy. And you can still kind of see your skin underneath it. And then the Tarte Shape Tape. I love this one for concealer. This I actually just tried and ended up really liking it. So it's kind of that same infallible line from L'Oreal, but it's the Pro Matte 16 hour powder. It does have a little mirror and a little sponge in the bottom there. So I'm planning to tuck this into my purse if I need to do some makeup touch ups throughout the day. I am also bringing though, I'm actually just bringing the small one. These are, I think, Eco Tools. This is my favorite makeup sponge that I've found so far though. I love the shape of it and also, this is not actually red, it's just normal black mascara, but I feel like the packaging goes with my fashion theme of red. It's a NARS Climax uh, mascara, obviously. 
red nail polish and white nail polish. I do have some little squares of nail polish remover. Whenever I go to Disney, I'm always tempted to bring more than one eyeshadow palette, um, but I'm only bringing one on this trip. In fact, I probably shouldn't even bring such a big eyeshadow palette, but we're going to Switzerland and this is the Too Faced chocolate bar palette. So I just felt like it was so perfectly in theme and I really love all of these colors, I think that'll be perfect. I picked this blush because it has multiple colors in there. It's by Milani, what is this called? Color Harmony Berry Rays. And then last but certainly not least, a really good red lipstick. Was obviously essential to go with all of those beautiful red skirts. This is the Maybelline 382 Red For Me in Matte. It's just a really beautiful red shade. Obviously, I'm really excited to take plenty of videos and pictures, so the camera equipment is an important part of the packing process. This is my Olympus Pen EPL9. I got it about a year ago. That honey brown case was a big part of the reason I bought it, but actually, it is amazing quality. It takes beautiful, beautiful photos and videos. This is the kit lens that came with it, which does work very well. I did get um, this lens too. It actually wasn't even all that expensive and it works beautifully. It's a 40 to 150, so it gives you a nice zoom there. And then this lens, this beautiful thing, is the Lumix 8 to 18. It's just an absolutely incredible wide angle lens because I have to admit this, it does work very well, but it's not as wide of an angle as I'm used to. And it would constantly throw me off when I was vlogging at Disney um, because things that I thought would be in the frame weren't in the frame so I thought this would be worth it for all the stunning scenery um, that we are going to see. I thought it was a good time to make that investment and I've just been loving this uh, lens so far. So beautiful. Obviously plenty of memory cards, extra battery, charger, all the cables and all that. I think I have probably like 500 gigabytes of memory cards because if you want to do a time lapse, video files just take up so, so much space. So this is brand new to my camera retinue. This is a pistol grip tripod. So it just folds out. Hold on, it's hard to do this one-handed. <laughs> there we go. So it just gives you a nice flat surface and it gives you a little bit of, um, of height. You can also um, adjust this to tilt it up and down so you can adjust the angle, which is really nice. A selfie stick for my GoPro here. You know, the lens cracked. Can you see the crack? there in the corner about a year ago, but this actually has such a wide angle that you don't see the crack in uh, in the shots, which is really nice. Obviously, I can't use the uh, selfie stick when we're at Disney, but I'm really excited. I think it'll be super fun to use it on this trip. And then here's my phone that I was just filming on. I feel like I should have a Swiss case, but this um, Kath Kidston one of London is so cute. When I went to uh, England and Ireland last time, we did buy a little SIM card and put it in um, my phone, and it worked really well because then we had you know data. We didn't have to rely on free Wi-Fi, but I don't know exactly uh, how the SIM cards work in Switzerland, if it'll be as easy to get one. We'll probably just see how it goes if we're able to stop by a phone store um, and get one. But yeah, just about ready to go.